The influenza or flu pandemic of 1918 to 1919, the deadliest in modern history, infected an estimated 500 million people worldwide, about one third of the planet's population at the time, and killed an estimated 20 million to 50 million victims. The sick experienced such typical flu symptoms as chills, fever, and fatigue. Two major issues contributed to the gravity of the pandemic, the war effort and limited scientific knowledge. While this lack of knowledge did not negatively impact infection and control actions, effective treatment and prevention methods were not fully utilized. The cells that are infected with Spanish influenza are the most mammalian adapted viruses. When the disease was around, it killed mostly young adults. The virus is called the Spanish influenza because it hit Spain the most. The virus is so deadly, it triggered an immune response to destroy its own cells. The most affected part of the body is the heart. It causes to bring asthma and heart failure. The disease is also called the three-day fever. Spanish influenza can be treated with lots of rest and drinking fluids. Junk foods, sugars, and processed foods are also not recommended. It also helps taking antiviral medications. In past studies, patients were forced to sweat it out. People believe in home remedies such as water, salt, and coal oil. Spanish influenza is hard to diagnose. It is mainly diagnosed when there are signs of the symptoms showing, such as coughing, bloodshot eyes, fevers, and headaches. Spanish influenza shares similar symptoms to those of cholera, colds, and the Bubnik Plague. It is hard to diagnose the Spanish influenza virus from other viruses. The Spanish influenza was one of the first pandemics involving the H1N1 virus, and it ended up infecting 500 million people across the world, including many Pacific Islands and other remote areas. The name may be the Spanish influenza, but now, with modern technology, scientists have tracked the disease and they claim that the first outbreak was indeed in France. Investigators back up the scientists' discoveries by saying that Spain was given the title of the disease at the time due to the lack of announcements in newspapers available in France or other surrounding countries. Spain happened to be the first to advertise the illness and they were therefore stuck with the name. The virus spread so easily due to the fact that it was launched at the time of World War I and many men were sleeping close together in the barracks, and it also didn't help that the virus was airborne. This virus was not controlled, and it unfortunately ended up killing 3-5% to of the world's population. This odd virus, unlike many others, when it entered the body, it caused a cytokine storm, or the overreaction of the body's immune system. The Spanish influenza predominantly killed healthy young adults due to the fact that the strong immune reactions ravaged the body whereas the weaker immune systems of children and middle-aged adults often resulted in fewer deaths.